we're going to set up the levels of the project and we will use the level manager dialog for that. So you can open the level manager from the visual art tools toolbar here under this icon. And we can dock this level manager here next to the properties and layers panel. Actually, we could open the level manager also doing right click on that gray area from this panel list. There it is. The level manager allows you to organize the project in different buildings and levels. In this document, there is no building and level created since we have started working from a Rhino template. So first of all, we'll create a new building from this icon here. We can rename it and selecting the building and from this icon we can create new levels. So first of all, we will create a ground floor. Clicking here, we will create another level, we will call it first floor. And finally, a terrace floor. Each level places a construction plane at a specific height, indicated by this elevation value. And these elevation values for each level are relative to the building elevation. So in this case, we will put the ground floor at 10 centimeters elevation, first floor to 3.10 centimeters, and terrace floor to 6.4 centimeters. So the construction plane is indicated by this icon here. So if I click on the ground floor construction plane, you will see that from the side viewports, there is this elevation mark highlighted, indicating the current level where I am working on. So if we want to work from one floor to another, we just can click on the corresponding construction plane icon. Okay, so now everything I draw here on the terrace floor, for example, this cone will be created on the terrace floor elevation. While if I move the construction plane to the ground floor and I draw again a new object, this cone will be now created on the ground floor level. The level manager also allows us to show and hide levels and have different level display settings by viewport. Imagine that we had an invisible clipping plane at the top and at the bottom of each level, which are defined by the level elevation value and the next level elevation. So just by clicking here on the level we want to display, we turn this invisible plane on and hide everything which is above. So while in this right viewport I have the terrace floor hidden, I can now hide from the perspective viewport the first and terrace floor. So notice that when I hide the first floor, all the upper levels were hidden as well. I can turn everything back again just clicking on this icon next to the building. Also from the level manager, we can see that each level has a top offset and bottom offset values, which actually move the clipping plane of each level from the top and from the bottom up and down in order to see more or less geometry from each level. For example, in this case, we can see that there is this gap because this level top clipping plane has been moved according to this top offset value. If we put that to zero, we will see how the geometry reaches the same elevation as the terrace floor. So let's put this back to less zero dot 35 and go on. An important feature to know about the level manager is the cut plane that each level has. The cut plane is located at a specific height indicated by this value here, which is relative to each floor elevation value. Okay, so now let's create, for example, a wall on that first floor. And we will insert a door in the wall. So when we enable this cut plane on the first floor, the objects are sectioned according to this cut plane position. And as you see, all the upper levels have been uh, automatically hidden. If we do the same on that top viewport, you see that the visual art objects show a 2D representation. Also, each level has this 2D representation icon 
which makes it possible to show the section of the objects located at the specific level, projected on the construction plane of the current level. So for example, here from the top viewport, if I show the ground floor now and activate this 2D representation of the first floor, I can see the section of the objects located on that first floor. They are grayed, so I cannot edit them now, but I can use their snap points to keep on drawing and get the reference of this geometry. So we'll put everything back. And keep on drawing. We will delete all the geometry, just moving on to the next step.